Um, so last year I uh, announced the uh, F branch, which is a tool for Fedora packages, um, just to make life easier and simpler. Um, sorry, let me take some water. And uh, yeah, this is a follow-up talk, just kind of to cover what's happened in the last year and uh, hopefully do some demos. I, I hope I'm hoping there might be some interested people even who are users here. So if we could have some discussions or um, any sort of feedbacks or um, other ideas, brainstorming and so on, that would be really useful. Um, yeah. So anyway, for those who aren't familiar, um, a few sort of a little bit of, about what FBranch is and can do. Um, so I mean, FBranch is really just a tool to kind of re replace or a high level tool, if you like, that can replace um, RPM build, um, Koji, uh, these command line tools, Fed package, <coughs> Bodhi, and uh, and copper and other other tools like that, um, and it was basically designed for dealing with large amounts of packages. So um, I don't know, how, uh, any of you uh, Fedora packages, or any of you not? Um, yeah, just a few. I did see. I see if there's anything in this poll I made. Um, oh, I forgot to push the great poll button. Oh no, that's already there. It's all right. All right. Um, uh huh. Okay. There's a, there's a bit of a spread. Yeah, I see some people use it uh, more than others, and uh, some haven't tried yet. Okay. Um, yeah, if, if you haven't taken the poll yet, feel free to put in there. Um, all right, so let me try and get back to this one. Um, yeah, and uh, so as the name suggests, I mean, it's quite oriented around branches. And uh, so one, the original motivation was to build, so be able to build a package across all these branches in one sort of command, in a sense. And, uh, and that's kind of been extended in, in various directions, uh, like to parallel um, builds and um, with, with uh, yeah, dependency order and yeah, a lot of other commands. Um, so I mean, if you only like maintain one or two packages and only update them once in a while, then maybe F branch isn't like a um, critical tool maybe for you. But if if you have many packages and you want to and you, or you want to build some of your packages frequently across releases and so on, then can actually save a lot of time. Um, all right, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat or the Q and A section. I'll try to answer them um, either during or after the at the end. Um, yeah, so so. If you have, a, well, we'll come to a demo in a moment, but you can also do things like pulling all the latest um, commits from from um, this git and uh, bumping uh, releases and so on. And uh, yeah, there's also uh, some more experimental commands like an update command to update uh, packages and so on. Um, another thing you can do is you can build packages locally and install them, which is can be quite nice when you're sort of doing development. Or, uh all right so so yeah if you're following then i'd actually recommend you if you haven't got f branch installed i'd actually recommend you install um install it it's it's in i mean if you're running fedora you can install it just from just using uh, dnf um yeah ideally you, sh you could install the one the version that's in testing at the moment in the updates testing but um, 0 0.9 is also fine, uh, which is the current stable version. Um, so let's just have a quick look at it in action. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna, all right, let me just reset, oops. Um, yeah, so I mean, f branch has quite a few commands, as you can see. I mean, it tries to cover a lot of uh, different things. Um, so you can clone packages, you can use it to switch branch, and of course, so I mean, unlike f branch, f package, f, sorry, fed package, which only deals with single, well, package at a time, basically. So f branch can deal with many packages, so you can clone multiple packages, or even you can clone all your own packages. Um, um, let me just have a look at that. If, is it is the font large enough? If uh, yeah, if you feel it's too small, just shut it. Um, yeah. So here you can well you can specify a branch, and you can also there's this mine option, um, which will allow you to. Uh, okay, thanks, Kevin. <clears throat> Um, which will allow you to basically we'll just query Pagua and uh, it should give you a list of all your packages which you can then uh, which will then go in through and clone. I'm not going to attempt that right now because um, and you can also clone another person's packages anyway just for fun if you uh, don't go for spot okay um, and then similarly yeah you can switch branches and again obviously you can switch branch on a so I have a few example packages here so just go in here. So this is currently in Rawhide, but I could switch to uh, receive this. Um, okay, I think I need to. It's gonna do a poll first. Time. Okay, I didn't even have the Fedora 34 branch, but it pulled it down, and uh, yeah, now we're in S34. And uh, sure, we can do a poll too, maybe. Um, okay, so what did I want to say? Yeah, so that's that's okay, but um, I can also uh, switch branches for all these packages if I want to. So maybe before I do, before I do that, I'll just see. Uh, yeah, there's this branches command. Um, so. What I can do is I can check what what branches this um, package is currently are in actually just for fun. So, so yeah, I can see that some of them are in Rawhide, and some of them are in S34. And uh, so if I now switch them all to, uh, uh, let's see, I think I've hit a bug. <laughs> uh, hang on, what am I doing here? That's interesting. Um, hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me try and switch that one. That worked. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> I think the demo gods may not be. I don't know. I think there's a bug or something on that. Um, that should actually work, but. All right. Um, never mind. <laughs> Demo fail. All right. We'll keep going. Um, anyway, that, that, yeah, I think that is working. Well, uh, yeah. I actually have, uh, I'm wondering if it's a regression or something, but I, I don't. Nope. Okay. I don't know. All right. I think I found a bug then, so we'll fix that later. Um, I was hoping to fix some bugs during this talk too, but we'll see about that. Um, let me just check the time here. Yeah. And, well, there are more commands. So another command is NVR. Let's see if this one will work for me. Um, okay, so this just tells me the current NVRs of the packages in the local, I mean, according to the local spec files. Um, I'm not quite sure why the last one is taking so long. Um, hmm. um, all right. 
and uh, oops. Okay. Um, so what else can we do here? Yeah. Well, another thing I can do is to list, for example, my side tags. Any side tags I have. Um, Um, I think originally I did this by branches, but I, I realized it's faster just to list them all in one go. So, and uh, okay, maybe I'll show you something different. Over in Emacs, I've uh, oh, I'm in the wrong window. Sorry, I'm not used to using multiple monitors. Um, okay, so sorry, this is rather a small font, but. Um, so I'm going to kick off this. <laughs> I'm actually building all the packages at the moment. Uh, the timing of uh, this conference isn't great for me because of the uh, branching next week. But so this is a very large parallel build, which I already started earlier. But um, oh, I didn't go right. Let me try again. Uh, I think I'm doing something wrong here. Not quite sure what's wrong with this. Um, mm, oh, I introduced a bug. I see. Uh, <laughs> I um, tell you what, I might just go and fix that. Uh, this is not part of the demo, but. Uh, Number. Well, I might also skip this if Um, all right, we might have to skip this part of the, um, anyway, I just wanted to show you a, a large parallel build, but it doesn't seem to want to work right now. I seem to have introduced, I just added this feature earlier today and I tested it, I guess. Um, all right, maybe we'll come back to this if there's time later, so it's not really critical, but, um. Yeah, I mean, you can see some of the parallel build was happening already earlier, and it looks a bit like this. So basically, yeah, maybe there's one I did earlier, I sort of wish you can see. So, okay, so here it's, so it's actually doing multiple layers of packages. Um, so this is actually the second layer, which has got 81 packages. And uh, um, sorry, I want to be in copy mode. This is VTurn, by the way, which is a rather nice Emacs uh, module, but anyway. Um, yeah, live demos are the best here. <coughs> um, so anyway, first it's, okay, here it's, uh, this is actually the second run of this second layer, so I'd already built some of the packages earlier, but it's quite a nice feature that uh, both, this also applies to the build command, which is like the normal command just for building an odd package or two, and also for parallel, that if you've already built something, then by default, fbranch will just uh, kind of ignore those builds. They won't error. So it'll just say, oh, you've already built this. I'm going to skip it. So it allows you to kind of resume tasks without having to kind of do a lot of um, editing to your list of packages. So, all right. So, yeah. So, um so here it actually starts this the first package that it's building in this time and it so yeah so it pushes uh that, I'd already pushed the git for this but here it so the other thing yeah it it, it pushes git uh does a git push as late as possible so it just does a git push right before you build a package basically so 
you don't need to push everything. You can push everything you want to, but you don't have to push everything in advance. So, um, so yeah, here it's, and uh, these packages are all built in the background in Koji. So, I mean, there's background tasks, so they've got low priority because of the number. If you build more than five packages in parallel, they'll be built in as background uh, priority. Uh, so yeah, it's pushing it and gradually we'll see some uh, builds finishing here. So that was the first one we started and finished here and so on. Um, all right, I think I spent some time on this. So um, yeah, so these are all running in different threads, basically, which are sort of waiting for these tasks to finish. And uh, the one package failed. So that's why I actually had to restart this. So I thought I could restart it in the talk and show you. But, uh, since I broke it, I, I could run in the older version, but the older version doesn't have it quite as nice output. So I'll, yeah, I'll get back to this later. Um, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. Okay, just checking the comments. All right. Um, I might hope back into the slides unless there's something else I want to quickly mention. Um, yeah, there's a few other nice commands. I, a little while back, I added this graph command. Maybe I can try this. Um, I don't know. I think I need to specify. Um, oh. So this is also not working. No script fail can have open examples supported. No idea what that is. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of silent uh, I don't know what's going on here. Supported. I'm not quite sure where that comes from. Supported. That's an interesting error, actually. Hmm. Um, I'm wondering if I need graphics. I have graphics. Okay. Nope. All right. Another failed demo. I, keep, I hope someone's keeping count of all the failures. Uh, we can tell them at the end. Um, well, it it has actually worked, but uh, um, never mind. All right. Um, yeah. I also added. I mean, for Fedora 34, I guess. Or when? Anyway, for the well, it was after was it? Uh, the yeah. When our master branches were renamed to Rawhide, there's a command, which I still use occasionally because I have a few odd packages laying around, which are still on master. So this command just renames a locally a package from the master branch to a Rawhide branch, basically. That's, um, and again, it can be done, of course, across lots of packages. If you, yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we'll try this sort command and see if it works or not. Right there. Uh, I mean, this is an very interesting example because most of these packages don't depend on each other. So, but the idea is to sort them in dependency order. Something is taking very long. I wonder if I have a bad package here somewhere. Sure, what's wrong with this? Hello. I guess I should have tried to use <laughs> that before. Uh, let me just try again. So we get to hello, and then Lang. This is Langpacks, which has a problem. Hmm. Really. Hmm. Seems to be something wrong with this package. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, there you go. Nice Python pictures. Hmm. This is very strange. I'm not sure what's going on here. 
How am I doing for time? Oh, I think I have to stop soon anyway. Um, I'll try removing this. Let's see what happens. That works fine, yeah. So, maybe now, I have no idea why that package was broken, but hmm, now I'll get this again. Um, yeah, I, think, I have no idea where this is probably the control. All right, let's, I think that's enough of broken demos for now, so maybe we'll, if there's any time for any more broken demos, we can do them later. Um, yeah, I must, I think I use most of my time on the talk, but um, anyway, just a few highlights from, uh, oops, from since last year. So yeah, there's about 425 commits uh, upstream, uh, closed 14 GitHub issues. There were 13 releases. Package was officially released uh, in the Hackage, Hackage, Haskell package repository in February and also packaged in Fedora in February too. So it took a while from, from NES last year to actually get it into Fedora. Um, I think there were a few dependencies and stuff too. Um, yeah, and there was a Fedora 34 change and I think it's been out 27 body updates in total so far. All right, I was gonna talk more about features, but I think I'll probably skip all these. I mean, you can go and look at the change log um, in GitHub if you want to. Um, yeah, the demo, <laughs> I should maybe change it to demo is failed. Um, yeah, there's one, if anyone has questions, yeah, please fire away with those. Um, one thing that I've been thinking a little bit about very recently is the handling of is the RPM build directory. And as you know, like RPM kind of defaults to putting stuff in there, but I don't really know how many people actually use it. I mean, it is a default, so maybe some people do use it. Um, obviously, Diskit doesn't kind of know these, um, he knows the, this directory and so on. So, but until now, I've kind of been using it for non Diskit. As I said, uh, if plan, F branch handles both diskit and non diskit. Um, but for the next release, I'm thinking maybe to use the sources directory as a kind of a source cache. So sometimes if you build say, a package in, from different directories and maybe you have some nice tables, you could just pull them straight from the sources uh, directory. So um, we will see how that works. Yeah, there's a few bits of uh, technical debt. I actually thought I had some. Yeah. I actually updated this slide. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, there's these, there's a few sort of vendor libraries which I still want to release separately. Uh, there's no native authentication yet. Um, yeah. And what's next? Um, well, I'm hoping to do a repo query command. Uh, I'd originally thought it might be in 091, but it doesn't, it's not quite ready yet. Um, there may also be a Fedora repo query tool that I might release. Um, it's not ready yet, but uh, um, I want to add Git tags for lo uh, for Kodi builds locally. I mean, the local, you know, and then you're, and then you're Better work tree support, maybe. Also want to support RPM auto spec. I think I really need it myself, actually. <laughs> this rebuild, these builds I'm doing now have been quite a pain after the uh, mess rebuild to rebase. Um, there's also various tools like uh, Koji install, which I have, which I might somewhat start to integrate into F branch and center stream support. Yeah, I'm out of time, so. Let's see if there's any questions. Um, uh, sub commands to streamline package. Yes, there are um, commands for package reviews. That's right. Um, so there's a create review, um, let's update review. And I mean, create review does a little bit, well, a tiny bit more maybe than, than Fedora create review in, in the Fedora review package, but up, Update review is also quite handy. So if you need to make a revision to your submission, you can re-upload it using the update review. There's also a review package command, uh, which does a tiny bit more than Fedora review. Like it'll, um, you can just 
give it the uh, bug, I think. It'll, it'll find the package view for you automatically. Um, perhaps we could submit a um, same as any other questions. Um, oh, there's someone put a question in the Q and A. Okay, Kevin's got a question. Can F branch do everything Fed package does now, or do we do you ever have to use Fed package? Good question. Um, pretty much, I very seldom use Fed package anymore, and in fact, I hardly use RPM build either. So I'd say it can. Well, I, I wouldn't say. I don't sure it can. I don't think. No, it cannot do everything that Fed package can do. I mean, Fed Fed. Fed package has various commands, like for example, deleting a side tag. So yeah, it's it's it doesn't yeah it doesn't at this point. I don't, I mean I think it wouldn't be so difficult to make it do everything, but I mean there are some things that Fed package can do, which um, which I mean I could just copy them over or something. I mean I, I would. I mean one well, I guess one simple thing would just sort of default back. I mean. To, Provide some of those commands in an F branch and then just make them sort of call out to Fed package. But but yeah, in the long term, I think it could do that. Oh. So I didn't know Fed package could do corporate builds. Okay. Um, so, for example, I can't do container builds. I can't do module builds. Um, yeah, uh, lint. Uh, yeah. I think I run RPM lint, for example, when you submit a package review, and I don't do module builds. Um, can't remove side tags. Okay, I'm doing a long list of what I can't do, but um, yeah. So maybe that gives you an idea. Um, okay, I think we're running towards the end of the session. Any other questions or? Trying to get back to the chat. I'm having trouble finding my mouse. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks, Troy. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. If there's no other questions, then I guess we could uh, wrap up here. I'm sorry about all the failed demos. It's really embarrassing. Um, yeah. It's, I've been rather busy doing all these builds. <laughs> I didn't have enough time to uh, um, check my demo carefully, but uh, forgive me. All right, I'll hang around for another minute to see if there's any final questions, but I uh, appreciate your time and joining the session. Yeah, I guess, I mean, the only other thing I wanted to add is that, um, yeah, if you, I really appreciate feedback. So if you have, if something, if it isn't, yeah, okay. <laughs> I really have so many problems today, so it's embarrassing. But if you, yeah, if you run into funny things, and yeah, I'd really appreciate uh, just a, you know, a short GitHub issue just to say, oh, this is, isn't working for me, or, uh, or I'd like to do this a different way, or, I, or I don't like what it's doing here. And then, and yeah, I'm usually pretty responsive to, to request. Right, yeah, it's in Haskell, I know, so that's a bit of a barrier, but uh, so yeah, obviously, I mean, pull requests are also most welcome, but I mean, if you're not familiar with Haskell, then yeah, if you just open a ticket and I can help fix stuff, so that's, that's fine. Right? It's also read me on uh, GitHub and uh, in the package. So. All right, thanks very much, everyone. I think we're out of time, so see you around.